our mobile society, with its relentless growth in private and freight traffic, makes ever greater demands on the road network. A fully functioning infrastructure is the key to keeping one step ahead of the global competition. Reflection cracks, potholes and wheel ruts cause widespread damage and require extensive costly repair work. Partial patching is not generally satisfactory. Bibit G Plus asphalt reinforcement grids have been specially developed to prevent the propagation of existing damage through to the surface courses of newly resurfaced roads. Bibit G Plus allows maintenance intervals to be extended significantly, saving both time and money. The benefits of the high tensile strength of the glass grid structure in Bibit G Plus quickly becomes apparent. Bibit G Plus absorbs the stresses caused in the asphalt by slight displacements and distributes the load over the entire surface. The Bibit G Plus mesh is infilled with voluminous glass filaments that make the grid particularly easy to lay. Bibit G Plus is delivered in rolls to various points on the construction site as required. The protective wrapping is left in place until just before use. Bibit G Plus can be laid on an existing asphalt layer that has first been cleaned or on a bituminous leveling course. In most cases, however, it is laid on milled surfaces. First, a few centimeters are removed from the existing asphalt surface course. A fine milling machine, such as this Wirtgen W2000 model, is used to prepare a suitable supporting layer on which the Bibit G Plus can be laid. If the surface is too rough, the grid will be only partially in contact with it. As a result, the bond will be inadequate. After milling, the surface has to be cleaned using street cleaning vehicles and the coarse dirt from the milling process removed by suction. Fine dirt should be washed off using high-pressure cleaning equipment. A clean subsurface free of dirt and dust is essential for the bonding of the tack coat with the supporting layer and the Bibit G+. Bibit G Plus must be laid in dry weather conditions at a temperature of at least 10 degrees Celsius. The road surface is first sprayed with a Class C 60 BP1-S polymer modified bituminous tack coat. Not only does the emulsion ensure a firm bond over the entire area between the Bibit G Plus and the subsurface, it also improves the bond between the existing asphalt layer and the new asphalt surface. The quantity of emulsion required depends on the specific porosity of the subsurface. As a rule, a quantity somewhere between 350 and 800 grams per square meter are required. Ideally, the spraying process should begin using slightly more tack coat than required and then gradually reducing the amount. The optimum quantity is reached when the Bibit G Plus bonds over its entire surface without any excess emulsion penetrating through the grid. Bibit G Plus is usually laid manually. Unrolling equipment and special laying machines can also be used. The Bibit G Plus is rolled out onto the asphalt layer after the tack coat has broken. The ideal moment to begin rolling out is when the color of the emulsion turns from brown to black. This process is highly dependent on the temperature and weather conditions since it is triggered by the evaporation of water from the polymer modified bituminous tack coat. As the evaporation time can vary throughout the course of larger road resurfacing projects, the total area must be divided into several sections so that the grid can always be laid at the optimum moment. When laid manually or using unrolling equipment, the Bibit G Plus must be pulled taut immediately after rolling out and must be pressed onto the subsurface using a broom. This happens automatically if a special laying machine is used. The grid should never be laid before the tack coat is broken. If it is laid too early, pockets of emulsion will form beneath the asphalt reinforcement grid and the drying process will be delayed. 
In the unlikely event that the grid should stick to the wheels of the construction vehicles, we recommend that a bituminous mixture with a grain size of 0 to 5 mm be spread along the vehicle tire tracks and then compacted using a lightweight tandem roller. To prevent moisture from penetrating the road pavement via the edge areas, a gap of approximately 15 centimeters must always be maintained between the edge of the grid and the edge of the road. The grids must overlap at all the joints and be permanently bonded to each other. A 10 to 15 centimeter overlap is sufficient. Transverse overlaps are arranged in the working direction of the asphalt paver. Tack coat can be applied manually to the joints. The best results are achieved using a bolt gun with washers. In curves, recesses, and areas where folds appear during the laying process, the material needs to be cut. This is easily done using a standard carpet knife. Here too, the material must be overlapped and fixed in place. As soon as the tack coat is completely dry, asphalt surfacing can commence. The applied asphalt layer must be at least 4 cm thick. The result is cost-effective rehabilitation of the road pavement and an extension of its service life.